Hi, Seth Shostak here at the SETI Institute, and I'm going to talk to you today about something, just briefly by the way, that strikes me that it should be in the category of important if true. Okay, now it's this. Some people in Korea have published some work in which they suggest that galaxies that are far away from one another seem to know about one another. And you might be saying, oh man, I'm going to turn off this video because that doesn't sound interesting. But it is. Consider this. You have a circle of friends. You know about one another. Maybe you all agree to, you know, uh, use the same, I don't know, hairstyles or, or clothing or you go to the same entertainments. Who knows? But you know about one another. You That influences your action. But what about a whole bunch of people that are, you know, living 12,000 miles away on the other side of the world? You don't have very much interaction with them. So they don't do anything that kind of aligns with your own gusto-grabbing lifestyle. All right, well, what was reported in this study was that, doggone it, galaxies that are separated by tens of millions of light years, which isn't all that much, but tens of millions of light years seem to know about one another. If one of them was spinning around this way, you know, a lot of the other guys were spinning in the same direction. It was as if they had all gotten a memo. All right, well, that's kind of peculiar because how do they know about one another? Now that was less peculiar than another bit of work that came out of the University of Liège in Belgium. And they were saying that they had found that quasars, you know, which are really just big black holes in the centers of galaxies, that these things knew about th uh, quasars and other galaxies that were hundreds of millions of light years apart, even billions of light years apart. This sounds like, you know, spooky action at a distance. And if it's true, and it needs to be verified by more studies, but if it's true, there's something going on in the universe that we really don't have any idea about. And that happens in astronomy. You say, oh, well, that's nuts, Bob. Well, maybe it's not nuts. In the past, we've learned about all sorts of things that we didn't know about. Dark energy, dark matter. Nobody had saw, seen those things coming, and yet they're part of the universe. Could it be that there's some underlying structure of the cosmos that we still don't know about? Well, we may be finding out soon.